Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we see the next converging. Converting from SR flip flop to. We've seen the JK. Today let's see we see the 2D flip flop. Alright. Now to convert. Now the available flip flop is what? The available flip flop is the SR flip flop. And you have to draw the excitation table for it. And this is the excitation table already drawn from the previous video. And the required flip-flop is the D flip-flop for which you have to draw the characteristic table. Alright, so I hope you know about that. If you don't know, so you see it over here, okay? We have the present inputs Q N, D, and we have the next to output qn plus 1 so which means we have a 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 the output to this are the same as d 0 1 0 1 because it is just used for a time delay and now I told you we'll be making changes to the characteristic table we'll be making it the what the combinational table so now we, have, we match the QN and QN plus 1 from the characteristic table of the required flip-flop with the excitation table of the available flip-flop. So let me come over here. Now, when you have 0, 0, so you have S0 and R don't care. When you have a 0, 1, so you have S1 and R0. When you have a 1, 0, so you have... Uh, S0 and R1 and when you have both of them one so S is zone gear and R is here now you do what you find the equations for this S and R okay okay so uh, by K maps we do that okay so this four cells map zero one zero and one q n and d are the states and filling so zero one zero x so we can have a single group which is this one this is for s and what is it this is d because uh q n is changing for r we have it like this Again, a four cell map Q and ND 0 1 0 1. So filling X 0 1 0. Again, a single group of one. This one. And you have R equal to Q and complement. Now we draw the circuit diagram, all right? Just by the block diagram. So you have the available flip-flop, this is S, this is R. Find the, the clock input is over here. QN is this one, QN complement is this one. Now you replace the S by a D. So you give a D directly at the S. And for R you give it a QN complement. You give it a Q and complement, all right? So that's the conversion. We have converted now this SR flip-flop into a D flip-flop. This particular circuitry now will work as a D flip-flop. The next is converting SR to T flip-flop. So I remove this and I remove this. Okay. And I also remove this for it. And also these. Now, now your required flip flop is the T flip flop. Fine. Which means you have to draw the characteristic table for, for the T flip flop. And the characteristic table for the T flip flop, we have the output as 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. This is T. 
all right and you know how it is okay it will be toggling the present state into the next state you have 0 1 1 0 the next step now is to make this a combinational table out of the characteristic and we match the QN and QN plus 1 from the characteristic table with the excitation table which means we have an S and R over here now fine okay now when you have a 0 0 you have a 0 X you have a 0 1 you have a 1 0 1 1 is what it's X 0 and 1 0 is 0 1 so now this table is the combinational table fine and now by kmap we will be simplifying it for s and for r so this is a four cells map that we have okay 0 1 0 1 the inputs are q n and t now we'll require one more as well i draw it i drew it a little larger but that doesn't matter now have a look if you fill it for s you have a 0 1 x and 0 so you have only a single one which is this one which means that s in this case would be equal to q and complement and it with t and for r you have a x 0 0 1 which means over here you have a q n r is equal to q n and it with t we require two n gates with the sr flip flop this is the final step for the what for the conversion so s would be equal to q n complement and it with a t so you have a t input you have a t input over here you have given it to one gate and you have a q n complement with it so this is mentioned with the green color over here so i have it over here the next is r with uh, r is equal to q n and it with t so q n come uh, t comes from here and q n let's say i change the color so that we understand it easily the blue color represents q n and this is given to this gate and the outputs of these gate are given as the inputs s and r and now this particular block diagram this circuitry will work as a T flip-flop converting SR flip-flop to T flip-flop you didn't remind me of the heading okay <laughs> that was the most important thing so that's all about the SR conversion we've we've studied the JK D and T have we converted it to D yes we have and this is the conversion number three okay so that's all about the conversion that's all about the sr flip-flop conversion to jk to t and to d that were the flip-flops that we've seen see you in the next video very soon inshallah till then take care goodbye